iPhone rumor season is in full swing. But I guess if you really pay attention, it doesn't ever end. Anyway, Mark Gurman, who I've been following for a very long time, has incredible sources and has time and time again published incredible scoops, just dropped this pretty substantial meaty report that details the future iPhones 2019 and 2020, some iPad stuff, some iOS 13 stuff. So I'm gonna break it all down for you in this video. So let's start off with the iPad news. The iPad mini, which hasn't been updated in years, is supposed to see a refresh coming this spring. And the iPad regular, the 10 inch-ish version that has a lightning port and a home button, that, it's like $330, that one is supposed to get updated as well. As for the iPad Pros, the newly redesigned Face ID no home button iPad Pros that came out late last year, those will not see a refresh this year at all. So come spring of 2020, the iPad Pros are supposed to get a laser 3D camera system. And that system will eventually make its way to the 2020 iPhones. Yes, I know I'm talking about things in 2020. Now what this laser system can do is real-time depth mapping in 3D, and this plays in conjunction with Apple's rumored big augmented reality push for a headset in 2020. Right now, the true depth camera system, the front facing camera system, can only do 15 to 20 centimeters using the dot projector. This new rear facing, again, 3D laser system that Apple is gonna be rumored to use on the 2020 iPhones and 2020 iPads should be able to map a room, anything that's like 15 or 20 feet away uh, using lasers. Also, I think it's interesting that the rumor says that this system, again, is coming to the iPads first, which are supposed to be updated in spring of 2020, the iPad Pros, and then later in the year, they'll come to the iPhone. But what about 2019, this year? We're supposed to see updates to the 10R, 10S, and 10S Max. I don't know what the names are going to be, but what we do know is that Face ID is going to be improved on these devices, and Apple is rumored to introduce a triple lens camera system on the large iPhone. So remember when the 7 Plus had the dual camera system and the 7 had the singular camera system? I think Apple's gonna do that with the 2019 iPhones. And what this third lens is gonna do, apparently it's gonna be super wide, so if you take a photo and some of your subject is cut out, you may be able to kind of recover that cut off subject in post using Apple's triple lens system. So I would imagine it's capturing all sorts of data using three different sensors. And then there's gonna be a ton of magic that Apple's gonna do in the post-production side. Apple's also rumored to be increasing the length of live photos from three seconds all the way up to six seconds. So if you snap a photo, you should be getting about three seconds prior and then three seconds after, again, up from the three seconds that live photos are today. And I'm kind of curious, leave a comment down below if you have live photos turned on. I think I disabled it immediately when I got my iPhone. Um, I just, I feel like I'll never use it and you can't really share them as well as I'd like. Like it'd be cool natively if you can take a live photo on your phone and then convert that to a GIF or just like export that as a video. It seems like the functionality is very limited to just iOS. And if this triple end system is only available on the whatever max, the high end iPhone, I'll probably get that one. Apple's also rumored to be testing USB-C connection for the 2019 iPhone, though it's unclear if we'll get a USB-C iPhone in 2019, as in this year, or 2020 all the way next year when they use this laser 3D camera system. But I, for one, would love a USB-C iPhone. It is crazy to me that the high-end pro-level MacBook lineup has USB-C, solely USB-C. The new iPads are USB-C. I think this would be a logical, natural progression for Apple to implement USB-C in the new iPhones. And then we also got some tidbits about iOS 13. We're supposed to see a dark mode coming to iOS 13, which would be awesome. iOS 13 is also rumored to introduce a new home screen for the iPad, 
I don't know what that means or what that looks like. And the report also says this will give us the ability to tab through multiple versions of a single app like pages in a web browser. Also rumored to hit with iOS 13 is an Apple magazine subscription. So you'll pay per month for some sort of content delivery and the long rumored Apple video service. So I think going forward, uh, there's been rumors about this for a while, but instead of you spending a dollar, five dollars on a single app, you'll pay 10, 15, who knows how much money per month to Apple, and you'll get Apple Music, you'll get this Apple video service, the magazine service, and then probably access to the entire App Store catalog. But that is a rumor. I don't know if that's ever gonna come true. Personally, I think it would be cool to have an Apple subscription. Like, I would happily pay Apple, whatever it is, 10, $15 a month to get just everything. And that hopefully would include more iCloud storage. Now, just taking a step back and thinking about Apple uh, from a long-term perspective, they introduced the iPhone in 2007. It is by far their biggest money maker, but there's a billion iOS devices being used currently. And I think we've kind of reached peak iPhone in the sense that everyone that wants or has wanted an iPhone probably has an iPhone now. And the reasons to upgrade are less and less compelling every year. So what's Apple going to do if no one's buying iPhones? They gotta make a new product, an entire new category. And I think going into 2020, we're going to see Apple do an augmented reality headset Bloomberg had this story up for a really long time and we haven't heard much about this since, but I believe that in 2020, Apple's going to, for lack of a better phrase, create a game-changing product, a new category of you know consumer device with this augmented reality headset, the same way that before the iPhone, there was no app store, uh, they kind of, Apple really defined what a smartphone looks like, and I think going forward, this is gonna be their big play. They've been making such a big deal about AR for a long time. At Apple's last few developers conferences, they've showcased the iPhone's augmented reality capability on stage. I will leave links to both of the Bloomberg pieces in the description, the AR headset story from like a year ago, and then German's story about the new iPhones from today. So yeah, 2019 iPhones, they will be sort of like the S upgrade, even though these are called the 10S. Um, I don't know if anything's gonna be that substantial or crazy, like obviously every year Apple introduces new iPhones, but I think in 2020, um, Apple's gonna hit it out of the park with the new iPhones. As the rumor mill continues to churn out information, I will do my best to keep you updated on all of this iPhone stuff. So that's it for me, another just quick tech update video. I like making these things because I'm kind of a news junkie. I've been on Twitter for what will be a decade this March. I worked at the media companies doing news, I love news, I love delivering and sharing information, kind of distilled like this into just a few minute video. So leave a like if you learned something, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I will see you in the next video.